Welcome to my channel. So we just saw the flip through of this ephemera holder and this was made using the My Porch Prints kit called Grandma's Garden and envelopes. I made a little book, ephemera, tags, clusters, and a little cobachon. And for today's project, I'm going to be using the Perfect Peonies kit by My Porch Prints. The base of the project, a file folder. So one of these hanging file folders. And you just cut right beside these steel things here. And keep, the, uh, keep them because you can use them on projects. You just take the carefully take this steel part of it out and then you can use that little piece for like the bottom of this flip out for example that I'm making in another project just put that on each side but you can use like a file folder or just a piece of card stock and the reason that I do this size it's about eight eight by five and a half is that the pieces that you use can just be folded in half uh, an eight and a half by 11 can just be folded in half and you can use that and then there, I made this one about eight inches tall so it's a little bit to spare and so I've gone ahead and cut some pieces out from the kit and so you need two pieces for the non L shaped and two L shaped pieces. So this L shaped piece is about three inches wide by about four inches tall and that's just a cut out piece. And then these base pieces will cover each page. And then so you just have to make sure that the inside pieces will be cut differently. They're not the same size and they're also set the orientation different. They're opposites. So you, you wouldn't cut them at the same time. But the inside pieces are less wide because they need to be able to fold. So basically what I do is just take the piece, just you know, line it up so that it's straight at the bottom, and just cut around. <laughs> it's not it's not so complicated. Or you could sew or glue this on first and then cut around it, which it, I've seen someone else do that. I'm not that confident, but uh, the next step is to fix these pieces, and depending on what what you want your look to be you can you can glue them down and just have it like this or you can sew them down which is what I what I will do and so I only sew the outer pieces to the actual file folder so and I use a zigzag stitch so I will go my sewing machine and sew all around here and I'll start my sewing line at the bottom because we'll be putting pockets on each page so we can cover the sewing line uh, start and finish under the pocket so I'm just going to sew all the way around and then sew all the way around here and then I will sew these pages 
just the page itself so around so around and then I will glue these two pages on so that all the pages will have the nice top stitching all right so all the sewing is done around the front and in here and then I just sewed around this piece this L piece I decided not to sew around this piece because I did a fussy cut and I just think that looks really awesome on the back there so I decided not to sew around there so the next step is putting pockets on and so I'm just going for a plain pocket on the front and I've just folded it over and then just clipped in the edges there so that'll go like that and then I can put some ephemera in there same a sort of plain pocket with a little tab on the top the tab comes with the kit and I'm going to glue that there and then we'll make a tab that will go in sit in there and then I want it to sit on the right hand side so you can see it from the front so we'll make that and on the back I'm going to just use this little corner pocket here so I can leave that will be nice and clear so you can see that fussy cut and this is just a square piece that's been folded in half corner to corner to corner like that and then I rounded the edges there so for the last pocket I want to make a little tuck spot here and there's this cute ephemera that comes with the kit so I've cut that out and I've rounded the Ed, the corner here and I've put a um, backing piece of paper on there and I use 65 pound cardstock for everything just so you know so in between the two pieces I want to put a little hinge and what that will do is kind of prop it up a bit so instead of gluing it flat instead of gluing this flat down on these two sides I'm putting a little hinge and I'll glue the hinge down and that'll make it pop up a bit so you can put things inside so they're just little rectangles and I want to put one of the sides on the inside between the two pieces so I've cut those out and I've inked them so let's go ahead and glue those on And I'll go ahead and glue all the rest of the pockets on and we can make some clusters while it's drying. Okay, so my pockets are glued on and drying and I wanted to make some clusters. And what I like to do is use the words that come with the kit and I'll just back that onto a little bit of the matching paper. And under that, I'm going to start with a little piece of this is ribbon or this is just a wide ribbon that kind of has the colors matching but we're not going to see it anyway so I've got some thread and these are the off cuts of what I've been sewing so far and just you know if you make loops and you can add like this is this 
spool is almost gone so I will add more thread to make a little batch there and so the very first thing that I like to put down is my mother's curtains back in the day so that makes a nice uh, it's a little bit too long so I'll just take a little bit off and save that you can use that for something else and I don't want it to be a, a flat piece I want it to have a little bit of depth so just find a orientation that I like and then I have this beautiful lace that I got from a thrift store put that on actually probably only need about half that I don't want to make it too bulky and I'm trying to and I will keep track of where that is underneath because I will be sewing this on instead of gluing so the next thing is some of this thread Let's give a little haircut there. I've inked everything. If I don't say it, uh, assume that I've inked everything. I might forget to mention it. This is a little too big, actually. I want it to be a little bit, hug it a little bit closer. And I do just take the corners off. So that will go on like that and I'm missing something ah, some ribbon the thread and then I'm going to glue that on first and I will glue all the way to the edges of this piece so the sentiment But I won't glue the, this this other piece, and I instead I will sew all around the square, around that sentiment, and then I don't have to glue everything down. So I'm trying to mark, match this up with this backing piece, so my sewing machine will go through all of these layers. And I'll just put a little clip to hold it together while I'm sewing. So there we go there's quite a few too long threads so we'll just clip them down if there's anything that's didn't get caught under the sewing that we just did we'll pull them out Right, so the base is dry and I've just put in an eyelet here and a little just wrapped a little piece of ribbon around the eyelet and then added a ball pin with the cobachon there and the pockets are on the clusters are on as well and I did make a tag and this tag is pretty pretty shabby chic so uh, I did just took some lace and just threaded it and and pulled it uh, to make this gathering and then on top of that I added uh, from my mother's drapes I uh, cut out one of the flowers and then cut out a flower from something else I had and added some beads and then there's a little bit of pretty roses uh, trim there and some lace under that and I made this little book and so this little book is just made out of one of the postcards that goes with the kit and I added a little stamp that someone sent me as happy mail and so here's the postcard so I folded it and got my 
pink copy paper together and cut it down to size and rounded the corners and then I just saw my sewing machine I went I just started here turned it over went right down the middle here turned it over and then just a couple of stitches there and that's enough to keep everything together all right so let's put everything in the holder here so I have some tickets and ephemera, a little ephemera card, and in a little tuck spot there, a little flowers. Just know that anything that you put on this side will show on this outside as well. So let's add the tag so you can see the tag from the other side. And then I'm going to add this bit of ephemera and the little book. So there we go, that's our ephemera holder finished. And here's the one that I did from the beginning, that's Grandma's Garden and Perfect Peonies. And I do have book journals made from these kits. Uh, In the Garden book journal and Perfect Peonies book journal, they're on my website, yesimadeitmyself.com and they are available for sale. I wanted to say thank you to Stephanie of My Porch Prints for the amazing kits and all the videos and support, the Facebook group. Uh, we really appreciate it. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.